Welcome to the fourth video on the topic list. Now, when we write a list on paper, what are the things we can do with that list? First, we can see that items in the list, right? Second, we can add items to the list. Third, we can remove items from the list. In this video, we are going to see how to do all of that in Python. So, specifically, we are going to see about adding items to the list in detail. When we add items to a list, we can do it two ways. First, we can create, I mean, we can add an extra value to a list so that it will be added to the end of the list. Like, remember our school trip to watch movie example? Our teacher was writing a list, correct? So, when one more student says that they also want to join others and go to the movie, teacher will just add the student's name to the end of the list. So, in this example, the order of whose name is coming first and whose name is written at the end of the list, it is not important. Anyways, we are all going to go together and watch the movie together. So, we just added the value at the end of the list. In programming language, this is called appending, which means adding a value at the end of the data structure or end of the list in this video. But in some examples, the order is very important. So, we have to add the value in the correct place. Let me give you an example using gene sizes. Let us say we have a list with sizes 24, 28, 30, 32, 34 and 36. We missed out 26 when we created the list. So, it is not there. So, now we want to add it. But instead of appending to the end of the list, we can add it as the second value out of 24. That is when it looks correct, right? 24, 26, 28 and so on. We don't want it at the end. So, this is called inserting. So, adding a value at a very specific place is called inserting. Let us go to Python and see how to append and insert items to the list. So, we created this list in the previous video. So, we have fruit, mango, orange, banana, pineapple and we can print it. Now, let's save the file and run the code. So, you will see the name of all four fruits are printed as the output. Now, we want to add apple to this list. We can do that very easily. In this list, the order of the fruit is not important. It is not like mango is better than orange or banana is uh, better than pineapple, nothing like that. So, we will just append the item to the list. So, we are going to append apple to the list. To do that, we should write the list name first. So, we write fruits, then we put a full stop. This is a special character. We call it full stop. It can also be called as dot or period. So, after that, we write append. So, A, P, P, E, N, D and then round brackets. And within the brackets, we write within single quotes, apple. Remember, anywhere we are using words or sentences, it should always be within single quotes. So, now this is a string value. So, it has to be within single quotes. Let's copy and paste that print statement. That print fruits, copy it and paste it here. Save the file and then run the code. So, when the list is printed first time, it prints 4 fruits. After the append, it prints 5 fruits. Now, because we used append, the item was added at the end of the list. And so, apple is added to the fruit list as the last item. Okay. Now, let us create the list for our gene example. So, we can call the list as sizes and then, so I will write sizes and then put equal to and square bracket we write 24, 28, 30, 32 and 34. Then let's write print sizes. So now we want to add 26 as a second value. Because we want to add at a particular position in the list, we have to tell Python what that particular position is, right? So for that, we have to give the index of that position. Now, we want 26 as a second value. 
what is the index of the second value it will be 1 first value will be 0 for, will have the index 0 and second value will have the index 1 so we write sizes dot insert again round brackets and then we have to put two values we first we put the index which is 1 then we put comma and then we put 26 now let's print another I mean put another print statement here which is print sizes now let's save the file and run the code 26 is now printed as a second value it will have the index 1 we can check that too remember how we printed one value how how we can print one value so we will write print within this round brackets we'll write sizes and then we'll put square bracket and put one so now we save the file and run the code 26 is printed as the value so at index 1 26 is a value okay so there is one important point to note here whenever we add values in between the indexes python will assign the index again so now 26 will have index 1 and 28 will have index 2 before 28 had the index 1 because it was a second item so when we insert items in between when we when python it runs that statement it will assign new indices again for all the items okay so i hope you will be you are able to understand about append and insert to a list in the next video we are going to see two more interesting things to do with the list so see you soon in the next video